The key here, Jared, as we well know, is who gets the start. I think the, the big point here, with, you know, Bennett was in this one yesterday. He'd be disappointed with that. Backward, though, would be really disappointed to be down here. So the Norwegian had problems in his run in Sector 3, clipped a bail and lost a lot of time. Can he beat Bennett off the start here? They'll be looking up for the first green light of the day. The crowd will be on their feet for this, I'm sure. Backward with the release. Bennett, though, with a better start on the inside line. Backward looks like he's on, pushed a pass down the straight, getting squeezed, though. Chicane's around the other way now, Jared. It's a three-bar chicane look, so left, right, left, and they've done the same on the far side. That's to maintain the ice, because the breaking zone is where it breaks up the most. Backward expecting to go in the Joker. Yesterday, the delta was 14 and a half. Again, we don't really know what it would be right now, but a second lead for uh, Ollie Bennett at this point. All right, so who's going to miss that final four? You know, whoever loses here goes to the Constellation battle. So basically, the fast four versus the kind of the, the slower five. Let's just call it what it is. W worth noting, Jared, without that chicane coming onto the front straight, the approach speed to the jump is a lot higher than it was. So they're having to check up more. You saw Bennett there. Didn't case it. He rolled the knuckle of the jump. Backward comes out of the joker now. He's onto the big jump. Look at the crowd. Most people in already. Bennett sliding it wide on the back straight. Watch for that inside line. Whereabouts is Ollie Bennett? And Bennett's coming around to the Look final corner. Look how fast they're coming around that yeah. bank today. Backward going to come into the merge high speed, but Bennett's going to take this. Ollie Bennett takes the first battle of the day, and Andreas Backward is out. Here we go. Ollie Bennett and Chris Meek all excite all Union Jack, but only one can win and advance on to go against either Fraser McConnell or TP Travis Pastrana. Eyes up to the lights now. Meek alongside him is on the inside line. Meek gets a good start. Bennett with a lot of wheels on the outside line. Chris Meek's got that done straight away, Jared. Yeah, Chris Meek, you saw the traction. Bennett looked like he was spinning just a bit too much going through the three ballers. Now again, we've removed the other chicane. Watch how fast they are ripping through this bank. It's great, isn't it? Look at the little crest there as well. Yeah. They're coming through, a second jump up. Now they have to check up more in front of this great crowd at Calgary. Butters the jump for Meek and Bennett as well. Ooh, That's nice. tidy by both. Then back on the throttle, jump on the brake. Little bit of handbrake into turn one. Look at Meek running it up the wall. We saw Casper Janssen do that yesterday in NRX Next. Great accuracy. Really well done by both the drivers. Look at him ripping through. Now, who's going to take the Joker? I would have to assume Ollie's going to take it first. Meek's going to try to gain some ground. Talking about the Delta, how big is it? We need to take note of that. It's about, I mean, it was 18 yesterday. It's been minimized. Yeah, so in the end, we, we reckon 14.5, didn't we, when they put the chicanes in. Then they've taken one chicane out. But at the minute, it's still 14.5. And that, Jared, is what you said a minute ago. The track's frozen. Might it see is it here, definitely yeah. so. Problems for Chris Meek. The right rear suspension has collapsed, or potentially he's had a tire off. It looks like suspension to me. If he can hold on to this, 18.7 was the gap. Meek going to come out into the merge now. Where's Ollie Bennett? Ollie coming around the outside. I think Meek's going to get this, and he does. He Chris Meek yeah, wins. Yeah, look at that back left, squatting like a lowrider. Yeah. What's that? The suspension just yeah, the collapsed. Yeah, the tire's up. Yeah, suspension's gone. Well, wow, Chris, me. He's rally, that's he's rally driver. That's awesome, isn't it? Yeah, that's that stage rally driver. You know, he was digging in. I mean, shoot, outside of the jump, you really don't need that travel. So that thing's just digging in. Three times top qualifier, Fraser McConnell. He's the most successful driver in this format of qualifying. Getting too much wheel spin off the line, though. Travis Pastrana gets him around the outside immediately. So Fraz is going to have his work cut out now, assuming he can't find a way through on lap one. He's not allowed to joker on this lap. He'll go on lap two, Jared. He needs to be as close behind Travis as he can and see if he can get the overlap in that joker lap. I feel like Travis has something to prove. He didn't have the best success in Montreal going over that hip on the bank. Let's see how they handle that jump. As we were talking about, now they're gaining more speed. Very different from yesterday, and Fraz almost goes off to the side. Yeah, comes in late, doesn't he? Knew he could make up some time on Travis on the brakes. He's now right underneath the rear left corner of the 199 for Strana, sweeps into the right-hander. McConnell's dropped back just a few metres, five tenths, he says. Looks like a bit more than that now. He needed to be closer as they go into the Joker, so he'll go this time round. You'll see McConnell dive off to the right-hand side. And here goes but Travis. Oh, look at gone. Pastrana goes for the Joker lap. An interesting strategy, usually. So he might have dummied him a little bit there. Yeah, but he says, boom, there you go, I'm out of here. And notably, Travis Pastrana running the iconic livery of a great friend of the automotive world, Ken Block. He can nail a good lap now, 14.3. He's within striking distance here at Pastrana. Fraser into the Joker. All right, so Fraser McConnell, the A-Shock, DRR, Dry Reinbold, vehicle going in. If the cars are equal at the crossover as they go underneath, it's going to be very close indeed. Inside line, Fraser McConnell trying to lay the power down. Travis Pastrana coming around the outside. Watch for the it's merge in the Jamaica on the inside. Pastrana nicks it at the line, and the crowd go mad for that one. What a finish. <laughs> Look at the 
fist bumper trap. He's like, did I? What did I do? What happened? And yeah, we're here over over in the paddock area, and that was absolutely. Me, man. I don't know. been kicking our butts, but uh, we gotta get this Ken Block livery on top. Oh yes, Travis. Yes, there it is. yes Travis. And how rad does the livery look in the Looks snow amazing. as well, Jared? Yeah. It's a proper snow camo livery. Ken's first wild rally car livery, and, and everyone thought it was, was so cool at the time. <laughs> and, and great. Yes, go on, Travis, get the crowd yeah. hyped up. Look at that. Look in the background. Yeah, signature thumbs up, and the crowd absolutely erupts, celebrating not only Travis, but of course, Ken Block. He's on the, the inside line again where he was yesterday, but Ollie Erickson gets the better start around the outside. Kevin, though, finds him with a traction. Ollie now looks to me like he's on push to pass, but he ducks in behind. There's no way these two are going to take each other out. So Kevin Erickson leads from Ollie onto that straight now. Then this is a repeat of yesterday's race, as we said earlier on. Oh, a little bit wide there. So maybe losing a bit of time, Ollie Erickson. 17.1 seconds. Remember, we think the delta's around 14.5, and if they're directly over the top of each other as they come into and out of that joker lap, watch for the shot when he goes into the tunnel, and you'll see if they're directly over the top of each other, it's very close. For me, if you touch a beal, it shouldn't be a problem. Easy win then for Kevin Erickson. Does the same job as he did yesterday. Get his settings just right for the launch. There's one place up for grabs in the super final. The winner of this quarter final will take that last spot. Line up against Chris Meek for Strana and Kevin Erickson. Martel gets a little sideways kick up the line. Contact between Larson and Martel. Down the back straight, they're into each other's doors. Martel get pushed Whoa. wide. Larson in his door, gets crossed up, straightens up the RX cartel machine, ends up in P2. That's the closest start we've seen so far. Yeah, I mean, you're talking, you know, we're just talking about Larson kicking back, but then you said, oh, I'll roll up my sleeves. Yeah, he rolled them all the way up. I think he cut off the sleeves. He has yeah, a muscle he's shirt in a now. So Larson will go. He has to go on one of these two laps. There's only two opportunities to go in. So Larson into the joke that you've been saying how consistent Robin Larson's been. Larson up the face of the jump, check it up. Butter the landing, Whoa. tidily done again, quite heavy. Gathers it up. Here comes Connor Martel. 17.2 is the gap. Connor Martel doing a good job. Both Vermont sports cars are going to be in the final. And Travis said Connor Martel's got what it takes, and it looks like he does. So Connor Martel makes his way into the Super Four. Robin Larson, again, our championship point leader DRR JC RX Cartel so look at that both you know Andreas Backrood and Robin Larson are in the five where really they are important. seated right now there we really have really important it. yeah so basically anybody who lost in that second column and also Andreas Backrood from round one they're going to be in the super five these top four that are still to go super final for them and uh, we've now got the last chance qualifier coming up for you with NRX next the support category Normally aspirated 2.4 litre mount tune engine, six B gearboxes, championship on the line for the NRX North America champion. The fantastic four wheel drive machine for these drivers to try and learn their trade. Too much wheel spin, I thought, for everyone there, but it's Michaela who's got away with it. Tons of wheel spin off the line. Slotting into P2 is Jimmy Henderson, who's uh, the driver who can deny Casper Janssen the title, but not until the final later on today. Eric Gordon in P3. Henderson should have gone, I think, Jared. He's right up behind Michaela. Henderson needs to be on the front row. Remember, his championship rival, rival Kasper Janssen, is already on the front row in the final, having won the semi-final earlier today. Sideways over the jump. Henderson looks to the inside line, but not quite enough room. Henderson out. Did he tap the barriers on the outside line? I think Michaela threw Henderson off, and that's going to that's gonna really slow him down. So, to your point, he should have gone, because he was on the back bumper of Michaela, he should have gone Joker lap. If I were him, I'd go straight nope. to the Joker. He doesn't, no. but that's so. what I Oh, Henderson's got to go. No. No, so okay. now Henderson's given himself Strategy. no chance of being on the front row. You don't ever want a joker on the same lap nope. as the guy in front of you. Nope. And here he comes. Michaela's going to come out of the merge. Watch in the background, though, for the back 40 teammates. Inside line, Jimmy Henderson comes out from the joker lap. Gordon, not quite close enough. Yep. So uh, that you can see Henderson quickly slide up there to second. Chris Meek, full focus now, Pastrana on the outside line. Watch for the wheel spin, that's what's key. They both get good grip away from the line. Meek, though, immediately on the inside, nudges Pastrana out wide. Job done. It is the Northern Irishman who leads as they head down that back straight. Pastrana's got to get as close as he can. Look out, it's almost a straight line, that, that yeah. chicane at the back there. And then watch for the little dip crest as they come around this long left hander. They're ripping through here, Jared. 1.0, now they do. Travis Pastrana backs the car in lovely rotation. Pastrana's entry to the Joker lap. That may be the best I've seen so far that this weekend. Clean. Really that was nicely tidy, done. man. That was absolutely no sanitizer needed on that. That was absolutely clean. No dirt at all. Pastrana's Joker was really good, Jared. Now comes Meek. Watch goes for three times. Scandinavian flick on the way in. 19.7 is a massive lead Huge. for Chris Meek. Into Yokohama Tire Joker lap. Travis Pastrana, no. He is uh, <laughs> absolutely just 
miles apart. Look at that, Pastrana airing it out. Unfortunately, he will be on the back row of the finals, and he will not get TQ in the battle brackets, but a great execution by Chris Meek. Made it through to the end of the battle brackets. Yes, say Martel's jumped the start. Game oh, over, no, and he knows on. because the joke lap here is massive, Jared. You said it yesterday. Uh, a penalty joke lap here, you might as well book your spot in the next round because it's going to be happened? a long way back. That is a what? hard no. No. Son of a gun. That's man. a shame, man. That's taken away Son a great of a fight jump from in us. the gun. Yeah, he did jump it. Oh, man. Uh, I, too I many. Blame, I blame it's off, too much, much Jared. Pump. He's going for it too much, yeah. and he went too early. All right, so it is confirmed. He is penalized. He has to go to the Joker lap twice. That is nightmare. Nightmare. And uh, he gives up the start pretty much there, Jared. I mean, there's no point in damaging the car now. He's got the, the super final to do later on today. Martel is, is, will try. I suppose he might try and just show he's got the pace anyway. You may as well go and put the laps in on the throttle. Now feeling for the transition. He half spins. Over Martel rotates. into the bank on the inside line. So, misery heaped on to the double joker. Kevin Erickson, meanwhile, is already on uh, that back straight. He's going to go joker now. Erickson takes it. He's going to go to that final battle with Chris Meek. And here we are with our NRX next final. You can see pole position, just that. Kasper Janssen, don't be in the last place. And he's going to not only grab the win of the championship, but uh, he is one to watch. Lane Vakela up on the front row and rounding out that back row, those back 40 motorsports vehicles, Jimmy Henderson and Eric Gordon. Young Swedish driver gets a lot of wheels spin off the line, but Lane Vakela goes sideways. Janssen will get the whole shot. Slotting in behind him. Oh, no, Vakela comes around Vakela. the outside. Lane Vakela finds extra traction and puts Kasper Janssen down to P2. Vakela's late on the brakes. Somehow squeezes through. How late was Lane Vakela on the brakes into that chicane? Wow. We know how quick Kasper Janssen is. He's checking up early. Watch Janssen turn right. Go. Goes in. A little bit of understeer on the way in. Nearly wow. gets picked up behind <laughs> there. Gordon coming in hot. Yeah, Jan Janssen almost got taken out by Gordon. As you're looking at Jimmy Henderson. Should now, if I were Henderson, I might stay out a bit longer because it's 15.1 and he goes in now. I would have maybe stayed another couple of laps, Jared, to see if you can get that gap a bit bigger before you go. 15.1 might have been enough, but it's 9.8 as they go into the split at the back. And I'm pretty sure Kasper Janssen, who's just done the fastest lap as well, yep. is going to take it back. Look at that, slots it through the chicane. Drone popping up over the crest there with Kasper Janssen, who's looking odds on here for the title. So Lane Vakela all the way in that rear position. Unfortunately, you know, on that first lap, he was put down a seriously blazing pace. But unfortunately, I think loss of time. Look at the way Janssen's moving the car around, Jared. He's got it right underneath him, 6.1. He's eating Eric Gordon's lead alive here. Coming up, watch again, late on the brakes. So perfectly straight on the brakes. That's the way to break as late as you can. Tiny little input, Bosch gone. He's going to be your NRX Jeez, next North American champion. I think you can see by the size of the gap that he is a class act. Checkered flag for Janssen and the championship title up and over the crest. Fantastic. Well done by Casper Janssen, your North American champion. He gets the victory here and just icing on the cake. Right, so this is going to come down to Joker then and who's quickest in it. Chris Meek had a lead of 0.5 when Kevin Erickson went in on this lap. Watch for Meek now and how committed he is. Handbrake into the left hand and rides the bank a little bit. Bits hanging off the back of the FC1X that was taped up when he went out. They've just changed the cooling fans on it. And now the WRC legend's going to turn right Kevin's and gone slot into the Joker. We're going to have the Super, we're going to have the Final Four, the Super Four. Chris Meek wins the final battle to go pole in the Super Final. Kevin Erickson, P2. Uh, Big smiles from Meek. <laughs> 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 he knows where it's at. He knows what's going on. <laughs> the, Meek, the Meek monster match. There it is. So uh, throwing up his hands in victory. Congratulations, Chris Meek. McConnell with the pole. Bennett and Erickson and Andreas Backward down in P5. All right, the most vehicles we're going to see on track here. Five vehicles at the Calgary Stampede. We're about to find out. Five cars away for the first time. Good start. Ollie Erickson from the second row immediately looking to try and get inside. Fraser McConnell's there, though. Larson shuts the door. McConnell's super late on the brakes into the chicane. Larson goes Joker immediately. He's gone in. That's going to stop anyone behind. And then backward goes with him. So both the RX Cartel cars have gone in. Good tactics from there. That Joker is super tricky. So McConnell could go now if he wants. I know that he's got a decent the gap. Look how close it is. Last and backward as well be slowing each other down if they're getting into each other. Hard to call the tactics on this one. Bit of handbrake there from Fraser as he comes onto the back straight. Now coming through. Let's see how they handle the jump. Nice job by Frass. Still out front. One, two, and three. 
Yeah, Proper that, send. Yeah, look, that at, guy. look at Backward, he's all over the back of Robin. You wonder if that. You know, oh, Backward looking up the inside of Robin Larson. Has Larson got a problem with the car, maybe? Backward takes the position. He's definitely looking squirrely going into the chicane. Erickson should have taken the Joker lap. Frazier should have taken it on that final one, and there it is. Looks like Frass is going to come out on top. Ollie Erickson slides it in. Makes kind of a tight turn there. Shuts the door on himself. Yeah, it looks like, and there is the checkered flag. So Frazier McConnell, that's Ollie Erickson there in second. And here we are. Here are our final four, the super final. And on that front row, Chris Meek, Excite Energy Racing. Running that Union Jack flag, but definitely all Irish. Kevin Erickson right next to him, the 23. He's got a new mindset for the year that matches his number. Then on the back row, you got Connor Martell, very fast, wearing those amber lenses. And finally, the man that needs no introduction, the number 199, Travis Pastrana. Oh, a lot of wheels spin for me. He goes backwards immediately. Kevin Erickson bursts into the lead. Meek loses to me. Travis Pastrana. He's gone from P1 to P3. Surely he'll go Joker on this first lap. He doesn't. And into the Joker lap goes Connor Martell. So Martell has Joker early. He's going to be the first one to find those super slippery conditions. Watch the, watch on board with Meek. Look at the inputs. He's having to drive so very hard. Smooth, very smooth, though, surprisingly. Oh, Connor Martell. Martell gets into the wall. That front right corner has seen better days, unfortunately. And it's pointing the wrong direction. I'm assuming he will be a DNF. Don't know where that happened. We'll run it back. And there goes Chris Meek wide, throwing the snow rooster. Almost getting in the barrier. Here comes Travis Pastrana. He goes for the oh. Yokohama Tire Joker lap. Chris Meek narrowly missing the back end of the 199. For the first time this year, normally he hits it. Oh, no, we're, we're messing. We're messing. That was, that was harsh, Chris. Oh, he gets into the oh, wall. You know what? The There's no traction there. Look how slick it is. Start of the year, Kevin Erickson came into this series as one of the favorites. He had an accident which saw him taken out for the first two events. He's such a great driver. He's become a dad this year as well. He's full focus. He said that he wanted to get back on the top step of the podium this year. And that is what he's going to do here. It's Kevin Erickson who jumps over the finish line to take the Nitro Rallycross Stampede in Calgary. A brilliant drive by him. He has destroyed world-class opposition. Fantastic. And Chris Meek with that Joker lap jumps up to second and Pastrana will be on the podium. Unfortunately, it is the final spot. But again, with that notary, the livery of Ken Block. But congratulations to Kevin Erickson, number 23, Oldsburg's vehicle gets the victory.